Hello everyone, this is Aida Golami from Ahmed Soft Research Company and in today's video, I want to inform you a really useful and robust tool for Excel which is data tool and is developed by Agrimatsoft team. So this is the data tool as you can see here. It could be, you can subscribe for enabling it and the plans are for one month it's three dollars point ninety nine cents and for three months it's fifteen point ninety nine to the one year plan which is thirty nine point ninety nine uh, cents which in my opinion is really affordable in comparison to the similar ones and here i want to show four examples of four different capabilities of this tool and to see how how this tool can can help you so starting from the data segment so you can see there are some different segments in here data segment, date, efficiency criteria, distribution box, plots, shape file, trend test. So I'm gonna start with data. This segment is basically for reshaping your data. And but really guys, this is really useful. And maybe there is no other, uh, you know, reshaping um, demand uh did this tool cannot uh, help with okay so this is really um really comp comprehensive and helpful so this is just an example of one of the ways to reshape data using data tool as you can see when you when you get data from the organizations or when you get data which is um, for a long term, you can see that your data is stored something like this. So there is um, in each row, you have one day and in each column, you have one month. And then you have this data in something, some shapes like this. So what you should do, and, and, and obviously what models want and the way you want to work with your, their, with your data is something like this. So you want to have the first column, then the second column, etc. Okay, so what you will do is that you just select your whole range, you go to uh you can see these uh all options r2d r1d rddm rms and cddm so you can see the descriptions for each of them column da daily data to month select 365 rows for each year uh, i will i will explain them more but for this kind of problem, what you will do is to go for <clears throat> two dimension data. And then you can see this window opens. And what we want right now is to transpose all uh, these data to, to column. Okay, so you can see my data is now stored like this and the other thing that i should click is to send to new shit okay so you can see this is my whole data so i will just take it to here and you can see there's zero in my first column and then after the first one you can see this two number in here, which is here, and you can see this has done it right. Okay, so this is the way you can check it by the numbers you have. So that was just an example, and these other way, uh, other uh, options. For example, this one is when you have all your data 
in days so you have one two three hundred sixty five all in uh, all in columns and then each row is uh, one year okay so for reshaping in that kind of um, type you will go through rddm row daily data to month okay so let's get to the other option in here you can see the date segment first one is non-existent dates the second one is generate dates so for the first one is um used when you have a column of uh dates and a column of values in front of it and you want and and you have a missing data so this is basically used when you're working with missing data and then when in your date uh, column when you have missed some dates it will smartly find those missing dates and it will fill them okay it will fill those missing dates and then what i will do right now is generate dates so this is basically used when you have two dates and you want all dates between them okay so i will uh, select those these two dates and i will click on generate dates so this window opens up and uh whatever you want at minutes hours days so i want days and and in here at the days value so this is at uh, the um, something like time step okay so when i put one it will just fill each day for me when i put two it will fill like third day of first month first one is this the second one will be fifth date okay three five seven it will just um it will jump one day okay so that's that's the way it does and let's say i want each dates for me generate and you can see all dates are now from third day of first one first month of 2016 up to the up to the ninth day of uh sixth month of 2020 is now filled for me okay so you can see all these dates between these two dates are now filled for me so the next um segment is efficiency criteria which you can see here and this is also a really good um segment and capability of this tool so you can see i have observed in simulated data let's say i want to uh, have nash sutcliffe for me okay so what i will do is that i will select my two columns of data and i head to nash sutcliffe the first column should be observation data and second one model data is it okay yes it is okay okay so you can see uh all the calculations are also shown and the nash sutcliffe in here is minus 1.19 which means maybe my model is not doing very well so let's get to another efficiency criteria let's get into the distance so you can see again all the calculations and index of agreement is shown and yeah let's get into the next one which is rmse so you can see root mean square error for me is this number so that was uh just for efficiency criteria and the next one that i want to show for you is trend test of course you can see there is a plots segment 
which you can see all the distributions in here gumball one gamma exponential distribution logistic log logistic and all these other ones and so let's here get a pdf you can see the description says draw pdf by distribution select the column data just data and distribution so i want normal distribution is okay so i select all my data and i go for pdf so you can see the calculations is made and this is the pdf chart by normal distribution you can see it's drawn for me and okay so the other one that i wanted to show you is the cdf so i click on that and you can see this the cdf okay so also you can see these other distributions that i just mentioned and you can go through any other distribution that you want and here also there is another uh, function in here which is distribution check okay and i click on that and you can see a whole explanation of uh, of different distributions is made for you which is awesome i think and you can use them you can see the log normal and gamma poison and other things gumbo and other things so here i want to go through man candle test okay so this is the trend finding test trend finding test which is so good so i will select my data of course this is just the test um data which i have uh, generated using rank between the function in excel so don't panic this is not um this is not a real case okay so i will go through main candle i just click on that and you can see this window opens up confidence level here as default is five percent i can do whatever i want i can change it but here is okay okay so five percent confidence level i click on calculate and you can see in general report in five percent confidence level a significant trend detected a p-value eight point okay so this is a really good p-value for this test data so this p-value is so low which you can see of course um there is a significant trend detected and then the z statistic and all others and trend report is that that refers to a significant increase in trend with disease statistic of point of 5.75 so that was also for the man candle that was just for showing some of the abilities of the data tool which is developed by Atomatsoft team and i just mentioned the plans for buying it in order to buy this tool and in order to buy a subscription for it you can head to agrimatsoft website agrimatsoft.com or contact Mr. Kosumi, which you can see the email address in um, all over the website and also the channel the youtube channel and uh, i will make the other videos for each segment up here and i will show you more of the capabilities of this uh, tool to see how you can work with it and how can it maybe help you so i guess that's it for today's video i hope you learned something new please 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 don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel i will see you in the next video and bye